Hello, my name is Jim Sinesco, and I'm the Vice President with AFC International. And today, this video is going to go over some of the fine features and maybe a description for, for some of you who are new to it on the EchoView wireless uh, system from Ray Systems. The EchoView wireless system uh, consists of a wireless uh, reader, basically a handheld device, that can accept signals of up to eight QRay 3s or any wireless capable ray systems unit such as Toxi Pro single gas and multi-ray, multi-ray pro line that has a wireless uh, uh, radio installed when you purchase it. Um, for today, I'm going to go ahead and just go over the basics of the system using uh, a couple of key ray threes. Um, but the system is very, very simple. Now, the first thing you do have to remember is that when you do purchase or you are looking to go wireless, you have to purchase an instrument that has a wireless uh, radio built in. And you'll notice this little yellow tag up here. Any gas detector that has this yellow uh, label, FCC label, is just going to is going to let you know that that instrument has a wired uh, radio inside the instrument. So that is definitely needed for the system to work. You can buy instruments such as this QRay 3 and any other three that I mentioned without radios as well. But if you do want to use the wireless, you do have to have a radio equipped um, detector. The Echo View itself can handle up to eight different signals from different uh, instruments. It could be three Toxi Pros, it could be three Keyray 3s, it could be a multitude of different combinations of multi-ray. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but they do have to be wireless enabled and wireless equipped. However, the eight units is the maximum on a uh, Echo View system. Now the Echo View basically will give you each individual detector on a screen You'll be able to see it, and then by selecting the buttons, and I'll go through this in a little bit here, by clicking uh, the, the enter button on a particular unit uh, as you're scrolling through, you'll actually see real time any alarm conditions. You'll also see any type of uh, gas individual sensor readings. So um, it, it gives you a lot of good information. And again, this distance that we're talking about between this echo view and the instrument is going to be uh, dependent upon the instrument and the version. The QRay 3, they're claiming we can get up to 600 feet on. Okay, so that's a long distance. In other words, 600 feet from your instrument to your uh, Echo View controller. So that's a long way. All the units, though, have to be within that distance of, of the Echo View, or else they'll drop off and you'll lose the signal. Now, you do get a warning when that does happen, um, but you do need to keep that in mind that you have to keep relatively close. But, but you know, 600 feet, that's pretty good. For Toxi Ray Pro, the single and the multi ray, I believe it's only half of that. Uh, you're looking about 330 feet. But again, for most close in closed loop systems, wireless systems, that's going to be plenty uh, of distance uh, for you. You can use uh, an Echo View router, basically a repeater, that you can actually add into the system to extend that distance even farther. Um, so we can do some things to extend that. But again, for this video today, I'm just going to show you basic setups, basic how to turn the units on, what sequences, and, and to get it all working. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go ahead and you're going to want to go ahead and, and turn on the Echo View. Now you'll see three button choices, just like traditional race systems units, and hit the on button here in the middle, and that'll turn on the Echo View. Okay, power's on, letting me know that everything is working. It does beep, lets me know that the Echo View is up and running. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put that down for a second. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn on our Keyray 3s. Keyray 3s have the two buttons that you're, you're familiar with. The on-off button on the right-hand side turns the unit on. Go ahead and put that one here. I'm going to grab the other, other Keyray 3, and I'm going to go ahead and, and turn it on as well. And again, both of these instruments have the radios installed. You can easily tell that by the yellow label up here. All right. Now, with the Keyray 3s, it takes about 60 seconds or so for them to go through their first initial warm-up. So that's what you're going to be hearing. I'm going to put these units down just for a second and go back and talk a little bit about the Echo View up a little bit closer for you. So Echo View uses as an antenna. The antenna is screwed on. It does come off, and it does have a swivel, and it can be canted. Uh, the antenna can be canted to help you uh, get better reception. On the back side, you'll see uh, an alligator clip, 360-degree turning alligator clip. 
that can be attached to your um, to your jacket to a harness. Um, you can also get magnets for these. You can actually use like a, like a limpet mine type thing and put it on a beam or an area. It doesn't have to be handheld. It has a horn down here. And on the bottom side, you will see a two compartments. One is for a battery. These run on a 3.6 lithium uh, dry cell. It is not a rechargeable system. You should yield about two to three months of continuous use um, using the, the uh, lithium cell. And then an auxiliary port for other options down the road. Alarm conditions will be uh, a horn and light back here at the echo view. So if any of your instruments in the field that you're using in the system go into alarm condition, you're going to get an audible and lights uh, telling you that you have an alarm condition out in the field in your system. All right, so this is echo view. Some other information up upper left hand corner of the unit is going to be uh, signal strength, uh, battery capabilities, um, capacity and uh, another uh, icon to let you know more about uh, your system and how it's performing. Back on the meters, you will see, and I'll get in close for you, you will see your gas concentrations, but you'll also see up in the corner a little like telephone pole or wire with a little strength of signal bar next to it. That's showing us that our wireless system is working and we are connecting our instrument now with our echo view. I'm going to grab another one and show you the same thing and there you go. On the echo view itself, let's take a look at that. You will see that it has found one instrument and you can see it is highlighted here. It does take about you know a couple of minutes for them to all kind of find and, and get connected. So I will tell you, it does take a little bit of time. It's not instantaneously connecting. It does take a little bit of time. But you see we have one unit already that it sees. And the dark circle means that that's the one, if I wanted to go and see information on, I can go ahead and hit the Enter key. When I hit the Enter key, it tells me any kind of alarm conditions. Gives me battery of life of that instrument. Okay, I can go ahead and hit a button. And now it's going to go ahead and, and scroll through to each individual sensor. This is the LEL sensor. It says there's no alarm condition, no concentration. It gives me my low and high alarm conditions. I hit it again. This is going to be the H2S sensor. I hit it again, this is going to be the CO sensor. I'm sorry, the oxygen sensor, it's hard to see <laughs> from the back side here. And then our carbon monoxide sensor. So all sensors that are installed on your gas detector, um, the echo view will give you all each, uh, each of the indications on it. If I hit it one more time, it'll give me the pan ID and channel number that that instrument is working on. And what that means is each individual instrument in your system, your closed loop system, has to be operating on the same PAN ID and same channel. Now the channel numbers 1 through 10 do also give you some other things like signal strength and helps things a little bit. Default from the factory is uh, channel 6. If we do have troubles in certain environments where we're having a hard time with channel 6, we'll, we'll ask you to bump it up to you know, 7, 8, 9, or 10 that sometimes helps uh, uh, with the system with its communications. At any time I can hit the exit key and that brings me back out. And you can also see right off the bat now here, after going back to the main screen, you can see my second instrument has come in and you can see it's got a, a, uh, a circle but it's not solid. The one above it is the instrument we were just looking at and that has a solid circle. That means when I hit the enter key, that's going to be the instrument information I'm going to be looking for that particular instrument. If I want to toggle, all I have to do is use my left or right buttons and make sure that that second instrument is solid. I'll hit that and you can see that information as well for that instrument. So in other words, what's the battery life? What's going out that unit? I hit exit, I'm back out. Say, wait a minute, I want to take more information. I'll hit the enter again. I'll see that information. I'll scroll with my left or right buttons and I can see my individual sensors. Here's my LEL sensor. I believe this is my H2S sensor, my oxygen sensor, 
and my CO sensor. And then the last screen is going to be my PAN ID and channel ID. And sure enough, I'm at 999 for the PAN, channel 10, or else I wouldn't be connected. And I can hit exit, and now I'm in operation. I'm going to go ahead and block the pump on one of the instruments. So the pump alarm on the instrument. We'll keep an eye on the screen and see what happens here. And you can see that the star highlights the instrument on the uh, echo view. It also is going into alarm as well. I'm going to go ahead and put the instrument down just for a second. I'm going to still leave it in pump alarm. I'm going to go ahead and hit the enter key to take a look at that. And you will see it says alarm pump. So it tells me exactly what's the problem with that uh, instrument and why it's going into alarm. I'm going to go ahead and clear that pump alarm. It goes back to normal. I'll exit out. And you can see my star, solid star, drop back off to a, a circle. Now on, on alarm, whatever the instrument's on alarm, that will automatically scroll and position itself at the top of the list. So that's kind of neat. Now again, this screen can see all eight of them, so it's going to get a little bit busy when you see them all up on there. So when it, one does go in alarm, it does help you and, and pulls it to the top so you can easily recognize which one is in alarm. Now the Q-Ray 3s have a man down feature, just like our multi-rays. So we can actually set the unit up for a man down alarm. And in that case, once the instrument goes into its man down alarm sequence and nobody acknowledges it, that they're, you know, they're, they're not moving, uh, then the man down alarm would come up on your echo view letting you know that, hey, somebody is not moving out in the field and we need to take uh, close attention to that. Maybe something's wrong, you slipped, fell, uh, heart attack, whatever. Um, the case could be, why isn't Bob moving around? So we can go ahead and, and, and track him on that. So Echo View is a very useful tool. So that's the basics of the system. To turn them on, you turn the Echo View on first, turn your gas detector instruments on, it automatically finds um, each individual instrument on the same channel and same pan ID, and it takes about two, three minutes for them to, to all file in, but once you get them, it's locked up and it's good. Now, what happens if an instrument, though, does go out of the 600, in this case, 600 foot range, and we lose connection? The little circle will turn to an X. There'll be a circle with a, a, an X in the middle of it telling you that we've lost connection. Now, you can program the Echo View host here to alert you with an alarm when that condition happens, or you can just show it visually uh, without any kind of an alert. I kind of like the alert. I want to know that, hey, one of our units is outside that range and I've lost connection. You know, maybe we call them on the radio and say, come on back in closer. Um, but that's uh, that feature there. So um, Echo View from Ray Systems uses, can, can detect and watch up to eight gas detectors that have been wirelessly equipped. That could be the, the Q-Ray 3, the new Q-Ray 3, the multi-rays, and Toxy Pros up to eight, all running on the same network channel and PAN ID, and uh, is really something to look at. If you've never looked at wireless or think you never really would be interested in wireless, I think if we come out and do a demo or show you some of these features, you may change your mind. Being a safety engineer, I know uh, that you know sometimes it's just the basic stuff works well, but I'm really starting to take a liking to this wireless because it gives me an extra uh, way to take a look and observe my workers in the field and make sure that their concentrations of gas that they're you know, getting into are safe and that uh, we're in good shape. So again, Jim Sinesco for AFC International. If you have any questions, uh, find us on the internet at www.afcintl.com or give us a call at 800-952-3293. Thank you very much.